got yanked out the cord by accident. <laughs> Oops. Uh, it's okay, you didn't miss much. Just me flailing around and crying. This guy's a lot tougher than I remember. I need a drink of water. Here. I'll even reapply my shit. Just to make it a little easier. You can hear me now, right? There we go. ran out of stamina and then he jumped away I wasn't expecting him to jump away he's like you know what Whoop. no worry I got this fucker ah, it's so close every time even on the bad times I'm still pretty decently close at beating him okay F and Dave dropping the prime on me, bro. Thank you. How the fuck are you doing today, sir? My boy Dave over here blessing me with that prime sub. Thank you, my dude. Thank you, thank you. Love you too, bro. All of that shit, bro. And I hope you're doing great. Doing well. Good, man. Good. Yo. I know you heard about KOTOR, right? I came, yeah, me too. I came, I cried, I think I, I came while I was crying, or I... I don't know. I can't tell that everything kind of blurred together. All I know is there's tears and semen everywhere. I cried because I need a fucking PS4. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, I need a fucking PS5 now. Damn it. I came when I heard, yeah. Bro. Yep, now I just need to get that damn... Now I just need to get a PS5 and we're good. Maybe one day. I might have to... Choke a scalper to death in the parking lot somewhere of a Walmart, but you know, we'll make it happen. Yeah, that's the hook for us old dogs. Yeah, yeah, 
They tried my life when they put Demon Souls as a fucking launch title. Because I said that I would buy a PS5 when the remake came out. Gonna have to suck a lot of wiener. Well. Alright. That's how it's gotta be. I'll fucking help with that. Appreciate it. No, I can count on you. I don't really feel like that's helping much with this particular fight. There it goes. Give me that little extra boost of life. I don't even need the equipment load on it. I just want the extra life it gives me. Smite scalper scum. Hell yeah, bro. reaction. Fucker. No, I should have waited. Yes. Ah, ah, that feels good. Ah. Whew. That took a little longer than I would have liked, but I guess that makes it all the more rewarding, right? We'll go with that. Ah, our fourth crown. Bro, yeah, that was a bit clutch, huh? Like, it got to a point where I'm just like, fuck it. Healing's not even worth it anymore. You just gotta fucking just go in on him. Ha, <laughs> first three numbers of my souls is 420. I'll take it. So now that I have the fourth crown, I'm going to go talk to my boy Vendrick over here. Need that lucky Jameson bottle. You know, I need to go buy another bottle of Jameson, actually. No, oh, not there. Is that there? Yeah, Undead Crypt, yep. I need the same strat for a lawn, but until then, I guess I better change my spells just for now. Um, that. Mm -hmm. 
then and I can then switch to this. Yeah. And what's cool about this build is I could really switch between two really badass weapons at a moment's notice. No hit a lawn run. <laughs> I'll try. Excuse me. Okay. So according to what I saw on the internet, this should work. This better fucking work. But now that I have all four crowns in my possession, King's Crown, Crown of the Sunken King, Crown of the Iron King, and Crown of the Ivory King, I should be able to go to where Vendrick is, go into that memory where you talk to him, and you basically get the ability to die and not hollow, essentially, that's what I was gathering. Rest in peace, Vendrick. You made me look really good that day. <laughs> Actually, not really. He almost two shot at me. My, uh. Within the first five seconds of the fight. Seeker of fire, deliverer of crowns. Yeah. What do you see in the flames? Find the crowns and your own answers. The crowns hold the strength of lords from times long past. Seek adversity. As befits you, seeker of fire, coveter of the throne. Oh, thank you for using the channel points. Unfortunately, since I don't have a capture card uh, hooked up to a PC, the sound notifications don't work. But... Appreciate it anyway. <laughs> I too sought fire once. With fire, they say. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that until after I got them setting those up. But I knew no better. Hi Liz, how are you? Seeker of fire. You know not the depth of dark within you. Alright, Vendrick. While you're sitting here and talking your fucking ear off. Talking my ear off, your lips off. He likes the flame. Seeker of fire. I see you've subdued another foul creature. One of the fire of this spawn. <coughs> Confounded quintessence of humanity. <coughs> the yes. once had form. I can't And yet, traces of its existence endure. Each fragment, thirsting for power, spread dark. With no relent. My dear Chandra was one such fragment. A feeble, tiny thing that thirsted for power more than any other. Driven by insatiable lust for a worthy vessel. Just wake me up when I lose the ability to hollow. One day fire will fade. Man, dark will come appear. Yes, 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 yes. We can bet. Is this Seeker of Sea? Yes, here we go. So yes, you only are able to activate this cutscene when you have all four crowns. So it means you gotta go beat the DLCs and all that shit. Here we are. Finally did it. The rest will follow. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Definitely appreciate everybody coming to hang out tonight. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. My first time ever doing it, too, so... 
This is pretty neat. Now fuck him up. Hell yeah. But first, I'm going to Majula and buying some life gems. Since that's really all I do with my souls now is I have, I don't have any other use for them. Uh, excuse me. I'm not working, so I'm a long haul. Stop Diablo. And other games I can throw down in tonight. <laughs> Alright, man. Um, fucking Revan hype. Yes! Bro. Except 99 all stats. I mean, yeah, I could do that. Um, but yeah, actually... You gave me a chubby in that game. Bro, yeah, actually, it's funny because I had planned on streaming Knights of the Old Republic after I beat this game tonight. Just because I really, I'm about to just be basically doing a boss run of this game, like a boss rush. Where I'm basically just going to be killing boss after boss after boss, and then it's going to be over. And then I was going to stream KOTOR after that, just because I've been planning on doing that for a hot minute. Um, kind of give myself a break before I start jumping immediately into Dark Souls 3. Um, but yeah. Uh, I have all the more reason to play some fucking KOTOR tonight. Wish that at multiplayer I'm talking about Old Republic. He's the- yeah, 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 I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, he's a DLC or some shit like that, right? Or he's part of the expansion. One of the expansions. But he's bad in that, right? Like, you have to fight him as a boss. Get DS3 back, bro. You should get DS3 back. You know I'll run that game with you. I don't even think you did all the DLCs yet either, so I hope you go through that shit. Get you up on that. I I feel like I'm better at Dark Souls 3 than I am at 2, but 2 is still really fun. It's still one of my favorites for content, especially armor-wise. Like, fighting-wise, I have to say DS3 has the advantage, because it's just faster paced. Little sale, the old troll motherfuckers. Hell yeah! Nah, he's good. All right, cool. That's awesome. Cause I remember like throwing armor, everyone fat roll. Hell yeah! But yeah, um, shit, man. I think what I might do is stream a little bit of KOTOR and maybe we could do some some Diablo or something um I heard that infinite rolls DS3 yeah man all right so I'm literally right in front of the you do the your stream I just live here <laughs> if not tonight then definitely tomorrow night I feel like I, I kind of, I almost feel obligated to play at least a little bit of KOTOR after this just because the trailer drops and I'm like, fuck, and I've been hyping up my playthrough for fucking ever. So yeah, either way, tonight or tomorrow, I'm free. I'm going to be playing this, or be playing something. And yeah, if not tonight, definitely, absolutely, 100% sure tomorrow. God, that sword makes me so moist. Oh, speaking of swords, wait a minute. Sorry, that was a lot all in like a very short amount of time. I'm so sorry. Watch KOTOR stream. Fuck yeah! You guys can help me pick out a good build. Because I know what I want to do, but I don't know if what I want to do is probably what's best for me, if you get my drift. But, well, well I, I feel like between me you and Chub Mackerel, we could probably get all this. We can get all that figured out. Alright. Line them up. 
Come on. Sorry about your door, man. But I brought my bug squisher with me. What you wanna do? You should do fresh off. Yes, you should do a melee build. Get to that after you mark this boss. Hell yeah. But yeah, uh, to answer your uh, question, Chub Mackerel, yeah, I'm probably gonna do like a dark side build, but to get a good the good side ending. You know what I mean? Sponsored by Raid. <laughs> Just because the dark side powers are so good in that game. Fear is amazing. Because you can paralyze an entire fucking section of people. Um, death field, which is basically life drain, but the attack all version of it. The like AoE version. And then fucking the uh, force lightning, but in storm. So like when he holds his hand up and fucking shocks everything. And then it mercs droids. Fucking mercs like what gar almost a guaranteed one shot. Instant drop of six jet. Yeah, dude, I've done that. I've gone into a room using that type of shit and just bzz, dead. Plague is broken. That's how I beat Malik. Damn. That's just mean. Ah, oh, I might include that actually. That's a nice uh. I might throw that in there, because Choke is okay, but I feel like Plague might be a better better option. Anyway, give me that Fume Sword. Fume Ultra Great Sword. You need 30 decks to use this thing? Have to start again on PC, damn it. Fucking worth. Yeah, it is. I just don't have five decks to put it. I don't have the extra five decks. Oh, I'm sorry. Ten. Uh. <laughs> I need the 50 strength I have on there. I don't even think I have any more soul vessels to do it. Just respec. I freeze them and they take damage over time. That's broken. Oh, hey. I'm gonna warp back to the bonfire because I think I aggroed all those spiders running out of there. I think I forgot to attack all the ones that dropped down. I just ran past them. <laughs> Only single target. Okay, so there is a slight drawback to it at least. But it's a boss killer. In a sense. I mean, it's the final boss killer. What the fuck am I saying? There we go. Like, I think I've already pretty much decided that I want to do a, a Sentinel. I'm going to pick a Jedi uh, Sentinel for my Jedi class. Dual wielding, of course. Of course. No question. Drain life and plague. While kiting him around. Yeah, man. Also, stealing all the mullet Jedis in the tanks. Yeah, bro. Honestly, I went around and destroyed all of them. Just ran, psh, 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 fucking destroyed all of them. And then just killed them. I think I would just, like... I didn't even... I would, like, would just use Master Flurry. And... A lot of life drain. 
Start a file now, bro. Fucking do it. PC's got better shit anyway. You got that whole fucking section dedicated to him. Mm, a wand might require the same strategy I used on the other guy. So remember, he took me a few tries the last time, too. Both him and Raim did. God, I wish I could... Raim's armor is the only armor that I really... Honestly, that's my favorite armor in the game. Looks-wise, good God, Raim's armor looks awesome. The guy I just fought... Holy shit. Yavin shop as well. Not sure if that's on console. Maybe. Vision's a tough enemy. Yeah, I know. Uh, Alright. We'll go in Ultra Greatsword first. Yeah, it's basically a memory from the armor. Dantooine? Yeah. Like, after you're done in Dantooine, that's when you really get to play the game. Like, I'm sorry, but you guys get to watch me play basically the boring parts of the game. But, I don't know. Maybe, thanks to your guys' help, I can get through there a little quicker. So I don't remember everything. Get smoked. Stupid Elon Knight. It's my... Oh, shit! Excuse me! Taurus pissed me off until I got to the Undercity. Yeah, I really don't like anything about Taurus at all. <laughs> boys okay it's hard to say that I didn't feel like a badass doing that just now Oh god. Fucking stupid lizard. Also, are you going to kill Junhai and do the bad thing and recruit her? Uh, I don't know. Because I don't... The reason why I like doing Dark Side and basically do whatever I want story-wise is because there's a glitch you could abuse uh, where you can get infinite Dark Side power or infinite Dark Side points by just abusing the same dialogue option over and over again. I forgot what planet it's on, but once you get past a certain part of the story, it doesn't matter what fucking option you pick. Even if you lose affinity of the dark side, you can always go back and do it again. I play emotionally depending on how I'm feeling that day and how I answer the questions. Honestly, Dave, that's exactly how I do the same. Like, if I don't like you, if I just don't like this motherfucker, he's going out there a lot. You know what I mean? But, you know, I feel sympathetic to the cause, you know. I'm not feeling too particularly murdery that day. Forgot about that. Yeah, man. That's a, a nice little exploit that I remember that actually is going to help 
in the long run quite a bit. What's his nuts to give me the droid on Taurus? Oh, yeah. Like, if it's to my benefit, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll fucking do it. No heartbeat. Just depends on what's happening. I got its twin blade plus seven. How are you doing, bro? I'm so sorry that you're not getting the notifications. Uh, do you, uh, I would say double check and see if it's marked as you have notifications enabled. Maybe, uh, maybe it got disabled somehow or something. I'm not sure. Uh, bitch. Life gem. Neither did I. Really? That's strange. Yeah, definitely check your notifications, uh, notification settings, and make sure that they're set to being on. Glad I was able to make it. Hell yeah, dude. Me too. All right. So you only made, uh, you only missed one boss out of the five that I have to kill tonight. And to be honest, you didn't miss a whole lot. Oh shit! It's a lawn. Oh god, he's not gonna wait for me to do all my buffs. Nor would I expect him to. Oh god! God, this guy's brutal. I love his armor too. Actually, it would almost be worth running my regular build on him now that I think about it. A little too early on the roll there. Woo! My fault. Uh, no worries. Glad to be able to make starting with my playthrough. I may need help with hex and heavy weapon main. Yeah, that reach. That reach is pretty ridiculous. I think I might switch to twin blade. I think great great sword is just way too slow. Uh, that's what I ended up beating him with on my other playthrough. I wasn't a hexer on that other build, but I was definitely a melee. All heavy strength, so much. I had like the Smelter Demon armor, and like it's a mixture of like Smelter Demon and Rames armor. Can I two hand this thing? I'm not gonna use it, but I'm just you know, <sighs> go away, stupid things. Nope, can't even two hand this thing. Lame, okay. Um, That was just a practice run for the no-hit run. You know what? I'll take that.
But yeah, I was saying that uh, keeping my other, keeping this my main uh, build for the most part would actually be better for fighting him because he actually like dashes away and then comes back and all this other crap. Actually, putting a heal spell in there would probably not be a good idea. So what I'll do is throw that in there. A little dark hail in case he gets too close. He'll be eating shit in no time. I would consider scraps of life, but that takes way too long. Actually, no. Yeah, I'm not using that. I'll use that so I can save my Estus flask and all that other crap. And repair. Oh my god, repair. Save so much. Is that Soul Geyser? Focus Souls. Oh, okay. Interesting. But man, I'm really happy you guys were able to make it and come hang out and shit like that, man. Ugh. Go through these last few bosses. These last ones are kind of tough. The DLC bosses are tougher than anything in the main game. Hands down. There's a fourth one for a second. That's the beauty of being a hexer. I could do all this cool shit for basically for free. We're gonna do that too. Yeah, the reach on these guys are nuts. Alright, bro. Let's see you when you get back. Wonder why I couldn't go any further. There's a guy blocking me. Uh, made things a lot easier. Yeah, just one-handing this weapon does a shit ton of damage. Like... The hits on it are pretty nuts. Wish you were adding the DS3, yeah. I miss Twin Blades.
And what's cool about this game, that you didn't get to see in other games, just eating the herb. Yeah, Chev is definitely the guy to go to for the, uh, for the Hexer Strats. He's got really good suggestions on a lot of great stuff. Even enough so to where you could still put your own twist on things if you wanted to. Which is essentially kind of what I did here. This is kind of our brainchild. Oh no, where's my shield? <laughs> Put Surlon and Samurai Showdown. Ow! I tried to dash past it, or roll past it, I should say. Oh. It's like I'm a half a second too late on his timing with shit. change stance. That's not ominous or anything. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's unblockable. Can you roll back? Oh. Yeah, petrified something would definitely be the best thing to uh, start off with as far as um, gifts are concerned. You undead Sephiroth. Whoop that trick. Whoop that trick. Yeah, man. Ugh. He's a pain in the butt. It just has the possibility of getting you something better than the crap that they start you off with. Because most of it's crap. Because you could turn into Petrified something and get a Twinkling Titanite out of it. And I'd take a Twinkling Titanite over a Divine Blessing or a Life Ring or whatever other crap they try to pawn off on you in the beginning. The starting... The starting uh, gifts into our straight butt cheeks. Yeah. Yeah, the petrified something is definitely worth using, not the birds. Yeah, the healing items would be good too.
just to try it. But, 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 I was gonna backstab your friend. Why'd you have to interrupt me, bro? You couldn't just let me have that one, huh? Fucker. A lot of night leggings. R2 strike that I never use because it's slow as fuck. I mean, if that startup hits something, then I'd be okay with using it. But I think it's more just to cover ground than anything else. There's a very wide sweeping range. I like the plunge attack too. I killed that fucker. Endurance of 30 ASAP. It'll save your butt. Yeah, it will. Hey, jackass, I'm over here. That's just an item down here that I wanted. Got through my character creation in my first battle, I realized RB button is broken. Oh no! Fucking rip, dude. No! You don't have a spare controller or nothing, bro? for two on the controller game now. Ouchies. <sighs> you 
Might be able to find some on Amazon for cheap. <coughs> Wire both controllers together. 